Pirates. It's Saturday the 23rd of February 2019 and I have just made it to Rye Harbour and it's high tide by the looks of it which is awesome. I didn't come here yesterday because uh, we finished work early and had a few beers so obviously I couldn't be driving after that. Look there he is. Ahoy me already. What are you up to? Measuring the uh, chain. All right. Marking it up. Wicked. We've only got 20 metres. Is that it? Fuck. Yeah. So Martin, you was wrong. What did he say? He said about 30 metres. He was well wrong. No. Well, that's not enough. Not nearly enough. No, no. at all. We'll have to use the other one. Mm -hmm. Bastards. Definitely. It's a pirate's life, though. It is a pirate's life. Oh, I've got one on as well. What a lovely day it is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely lovely. Gorgeous. The what? boat's just on the way down. What are we going to do then? Whether you wanted to take them lights off. If you're up to it or not. Well, I suppose so. <laughs> Needs doing, doesn't it? It does. Hello, Indy, by the way. Good old girl. Good old girl. Beautiful. It's um, Scallop Week at Rye, isn't it, this week? Scallop. Scallop Week at Rye. Oh, right. Pass. Yeah, so I'm sure they'll be busy down the fish shop today. Yeah. Especially today, anyway. There's loads of people about. So what are you doing then, Green? Just getting rid of the old... Uh, somebody marked it up at five metre lengths. Which is a bit short, really, anyway. Uh, yeah. Normally it's at ten metre lengths. Well, it's because they've only, they only had two marks, have we? <laughs> yeah, recently. So I'm just getting rid of the old five metre marks anyway. Yeah. We'll have to get some more chain from somewhere. Yeah. See what we can salvage. If I got that mast, um, I could take the camera up and film those bits that we need to look at. Mm. What bits do we need to look at? Well, I'm just going to look at the wire that wire or something is on the front there. And the other thing is the bulbs. You're gonna have to take a screwdriver or something as well. Alright. Or I think you went up in a bag or whatever. <laughs> okay. Right, so pirates we uh, I'm gonna go and take the lights down and at the same time have a look at a few bits they need looking at, see what bulbs are in the lights up there so we can put LEDs in. Excellent. Come on. Up there. <laughs> Good jump. So I'm at spreader height now. Beautiful. Now we bees at the top of the mast. Our pirates is at the top. Doing his inspections.
chafe marks in the road. There's that one, Genoa. Need your place here. That, that's a, that's a rope that goes in the marsh for pulling another rope up. On the string. Uh, on the, that's a string, yeah. to look for bolts and stuff not done up or missing that all looks all right people are right enjoying themselves That is spectacular. Out to sea, that away. Oh well. I love your place here, Mike. Oh well, back to work then. Uh, if you can, yeah. It'd be handy. <laughs> He's going to see if we can look at the bulb. As we could do with LEDs in them, really. When we're sailing during the night. Trying to get this light fitting off. What are doing wrong? Alright, so he's got the bulb unit off the top. Just unclipping his safety harness. Start his merry way down the mast. Right, so I'm almost down to the spreaders, and we have these stays here, the ones you can move. Um, they come into the mast here. Look at that! I could actually almost get that out. Severe wind, I'm pretty certain that, that could come out. I reckon if I use two hands, I could get that out on my own. Uh, so we've got another set of bolts down here, and then I'm sure there's a mast joint under the spreaders. Well, I want to check all the bolts. Same as the other one. And then uh, that's something else under here. Don't, don't drop it. Huh? Don't drop it. Well, no. You have to use two hands. 
two hands to push the bag, and then the glasses is plainly going to drop out of it. Yeah. I need to put the bag under it. <laughs> Using all the poss possible Whoa. ways to grip. It's a free handed job. If it comes out. I think he's got it. Right, so this is what we've got. In this uh, mast light here, hard wires on. G E H seven six oh six. H7 H7 505 or 606 I can't quite tell it's 6 uh, Tractor <laughs> Tractor Yeah uh, 12 volt 50 watt 02-14-05 17 made in USA wicked right so that's what that is uh, there you go and in there is one of the bulbs should I try and get the bulb out of this well I've got my screwdriver I'll pop that back in. Boy, Mary. Right, I think he's uh, done that one. Boy, he's Mary, on his way down. To go around the back side. <laughs> You're going down. Look at that. <laughs> and he's down. Now we're doing both. Yeah. Excellent. All that hard work's made me hungry. We're uh, going to go and uh, see what Shane. And that have got down at uh, the Rye Bay Fish Shop, but we've got to be quick because uh, we spent too much time uh, working and there's going to be shut in a minute. So we've got to go. And we're back again. Love it in here. Well, as the start of Scallop Week, Shane was uh, far too busy to uh, stop and talk to us today, unfortunately. Yeah. But it just shows how popular the Rye Scallop Week is. Um, but we're going to go back in a couple of weeks and uh, he can let us know how it all went and uh, tell us about it, you know, what it's all about. Yeah. It's a big thing. It was in the newspaper. Was, my mum told me about it. Yeah, right. I so, yeah. <laughs> exactly, but that's what I mean. If she knows about it, then it's quite... Yeah. You know what I mean? So, off to Jemsons, get some bacon, because uh, apparently that's the best way to do scallops. A um, couple of ciders. Enjoy the last of the sunshine. It's a pirate's oh, life, Craig. It's a pirate's life for me. Oh. Right, so we've got scallops. In the pan, we've got bacon and garlic. Get yeah, ready, so we cook that, take that out, then cook the scallops. Dried and at room temperature, um, one minute each side. So uh, there you go. Can't wait. Bacon and the garlic's in there, keep them warm. Just get the pan smoky smoky, which is starting to do. Right, so I've got a dozen scallops at six, one minute each side, done.
Right, so in one minute I'll turn them. Right, so that's them done. Check them bad boys out. Love it. The red scallops before, Craig? I think so. Not sure. It's been a while, if so. Well, let's give it a try. Good. Winner. Winner, winner. Scallop dinner. Oh, pan smoking. That means it's my turn. Better go. Mate, them scallops were awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Very tasty. You can see why they have a week dedicated to them, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely brilliant. Mm. Cocktail Shane from the fish shop said briefly in a few seconds that he could spend talking to us. Um, oh, speechless. It was just so yummy. Mm -hmm. So what? We, we've still got some tiger prawns and a few mussels left. Yep. So, and a bit of hot smoked salmon, actually. Yep. Right, Pirates, it's Sunday the 24th of February 2019. And the tide's coming in. Craig's just been messing around with a chain. What have you been doing, Craig? Uh, just pulling out all the other chain as well. Oh, what, the old one? The small one. The small one? Yeah. All right, I've been uh, playing with my hair. Seeing if it comes out all right, really. Does it? Yeah, it seems to, yeah. That's good news. Yeah, that's what we need to do, basically, because uh, we've only got a really short length of chain. But we've got a really long chain, but it's half the thickness, so we're going to double it up and uh, attach it. Yeah. And then so we'll have the big chain that goes around the windlass, so we bring it up, that loosen the anchor and stuff, and then I'll sit and tie a snatch rope round and winch the rest of it up. Well, it might do anyway. Oh, it might do. Well, we'll see. Yeah. We'll have to experiment. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, there's been good news about the Herbis Basher. Yep. Yeah. Found a pattern part motor for uh, less than £20. So uh, we've, we've ordered that. It's coming from Beijing. So. We have to wait for it. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, so potentially that could fix our problem. Yeah. 20 schnids. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, and speaking of uh, problems as well, the Russian spy vessel, Nettie Marie, um, Craig was saying that they've got to go and do something because there's a hole in her, I think. They're on a slipway because uh, it's leaking a fair amount every tide. So they're, uh, they're hoping it's just something simple. Who knows? It's all possible with these boats. Yeah. But to be fair, it is like a patchwork. I don't know. I mean, there's not much original boat left from what I can see. <laughs> but anyway, she is a fine vessel, but unfortunately, with our wooden boats like that, you often get stuff like this, don't you? Yeah. But like I say, it might just be something simple. But yeah. Ian's forever rebuilding his pirate ship, we know that much. Yes, definitely. Um, so what else are we going to do? Not a lot, really. I've, I've got to go uh, go like Graham. <laughs> yeah. Go and cut some grass. <laughs> do the juice. <laughs> yeah, well, make the most of it whilst it's drying out before it rains again. Yeah. So, uh, it's a lovely day again. Yeah. We may go for a bit of a kite, but I don't know. I'm up for just chilling. It's lovely. Yeah. Um, but anyway, cheers for watching, everyone. Aye, aye. Is it a pirate's life, Craig? It's a pirate's life for me. Ah.